you. I, Erica, take you, Jake, to be my partner for life. And with this ring, I promise to love you until YouTube. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Is this real life right now? Did Jake Paul really get married? How's it going, YouTube? I'm Landon. Let's talk about what's trending right now. Everyone has been talking about Jake Paul getting married, but who is this person? Who is this mystery woman? The person Jake supposedly married is Erica Costell, and she is the latest member of Jake Paul's Team 10 family. She has been a Team 10 member from the beginning. In fact, she might have been the first ever employee for Jake Paul. But she's finally, she finally has her own channel now. Well, I think it's safe to say that Jake Paul isn't actually married. This has been a genius marketing plan to help grow Erica's channel. Her channel has hit around 2 million subscribers in just a few weeks at the time of this recording. This channel is growing just as fast as Jake Paul and his brother Logan Paul's channel. She hit 1 million subscribers in just 48 hours. Jake Paul is just a genius and he's been bringing in millions of dollars because he owns the Team 10. Erica, at the time of this recording, has about just three videos out, which is super impressive. The videos are titled About the Fight, I'm Pregnant, and Our First Anniversary. All of them seems to be huge hoaxes and skits. Everyone has been believing that Jake Paul is actually married, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's not. I don't know. Jake just keeps making mega channels, and he collabs in all of them, sharing around the subscribers and the views. I've never seen something so innovative like this, and I have much respect for him, and Logan, and Team 10. What do you guys think of Jake Paul? or even Logan Paul? Let me know in the comment section below. Also in the news, one of the most talked about stories right now is the US Supreme Court has just partially reinstated the Donald Trump's controversial travel ban ahead of the full hearing on this case. This has come as a huge shock. This full case was set for trial in October of this year, so why did it get partially reinstated now? And the six countries who fall under the travel ban is Libya, Syria, Iran, Sudan, Yemen, and Somalia, the same original six Muslim countries. President Donald Trump took it to Twitter to say this, very grateful for the 9-0 decision from the US Supreme Court. We must keep America safe. By the time you guys watch this video, the ban is probably in effect, but it takes about 48 hours. Also yesterday, Johnny Depp got himself into trouble as he made a assassination jokes towards Donald Trump, the president. That's something you don't do. This caused an outroar, but yesterday Johnny Depp has apologized for the remark he made. He says, I apologize for the bad joke I attempted last night in poor taste about President Trump. It did not come out as attended, and I intended no malice. I was only trying to amuse, not to harm anyone. Okay, so just yesterday, Harry Potter just turned 20 years old. It was first published on June 26, 1997. This amazing book and movie series was almost not a thing because the author, J.K. Rowling, shared her story and how she received a lot of rejections for her Harry Potter story, but luckily she was persistent and it prevailed. This was my childhood growing up. I remember waiting in line at the theaters, desperately wanting to watch the movie. The lineup for so damn long. Harry Potter was about the same age as me growing up so I really like connected to him but it felt like I related to him except I was no wizard. Now because of this you can perform Harry Potter spells using your Facebook status and no wand is necessary. All you have to do is write Harry Potter, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw or even Slytherin. If you put that in a status or a comment on Facebook it will transfigure your screen until an animated wand appears and then you can click on the Harry Potter wand and it's really cool you guys should try it out. From Harry Potter to Star Wars Ron Howard will be stepping into to direct the upcoming Han Solo spin-off movies. Because remember last week I mentioned the directors for the film that still has no title, they've stepped down because their vision wasn't the direction the movie was going in. Lucasfilm said they believe they can carry forward with the movie under Ron Howard's direction. So on July the 10th, the movie will resume production. Here is something very interesting in the news. Half of the world's population growth is likely to occur in Africa. They will be a powerhouse in the world. The question is, can they sustain the growth? Because a lot of countries there, a lot of places there are very, very poor. Nigeria is set to overtake the United States to become the third most populous country in the world by 2050. And this is according to the United Nations report. By 2050, there will be over 9.6 billion people out there in the world. Holy crap. Over in India, they're set to pass China by 2022, which is just years Years away so crazy it's crazy when you think about it both nations China and India they have over 1 billion people here in Canada we only have 30 million people that's only 10% of America and not even 1% of China's or India's population if we went to war with them theoretically they could just demolish us and no wonder China is so good in the Olympics 
There's so many of them. Also in the news, we have a 26-year-old Chinese woman who was seen in a live stream eating a rare poisonous plant. This plant is an aloe vera plant that is very poisonous and it can kill you if you consume enough of it. While this woman was eating the plant, her mouth started to feel numb and uh, yeah, she called 911 and she was rushed to the hospital. Later, she lost her voice and doctors found that she has also been suffering from severe rashes and blisters. At the hospital, she had her stomach pumped to remove the harmful substances from her body. Here's another crazy story about Michael McCoy. McCarthy, who was just found guilty of second degree murder for the death of Bella. He was sentenced to an automatic life sentence. Michael is Bella's mother's old boyfriend. He killed Bella and then put her into a trash bag where police eventually found the body. Okay, moving on. Do you guys remember the Philando Castillo case? Well, this guy right here you guys are looking at, this is Philando. Philando was shot and killed by Sergeant Germano Lianzis in Minnesota. The officer pulled over Philando's vehicle because of a brake light that was out. So you have this situation where it's just a routine stop and as you can see in this video, you can see these two officers seen on the cruiser's dash cam asking for the license and insurance. This is when Philando told officers that he does have a firearm on him. Everything seems to be calm until officers started shooting point blank right at Philando. Sir, I have to tell you, I do have a okay. firearm on okay. me. Don't reach for it then. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. This happened last year and for some reason the officer was found not guilty for the murder although it was clear cut we can see the video it was even live streamed it shows this officer shooting a man who showed no harm he said he had a firearm to avoid any complications it didn't even seem like he was a threat at all and i believe the officer could have shot him maybe in the leg maybe in the arm somewhere that's not brutal i think like how many shots did we hear go off there was just so many of them or how about this take out a taser make him immobile and then take his gun but why would the person tell you that he has a gun and then intend to use it. It just makes no sense. The officer appeared in court and was being charged for second degree manslaughter, two counts of dangerous discharge of a firearm, but like I said, no charges were laid. After all of this time, there was no justice until now. The family of Philando Castile has just reached a $3 million settlement from the city of Minnesota, but no money is going to bring him back. So was justice served just because they made millions of dollars? I don't think so. Well, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.